been talking peas. So we're back in the kitchen, uh, and Dev is back because we've been elevating the humble pea, that humble bag of frozen peas. What are we going to make now? With our we're peas? making a luscious, sexy soup. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. So this, What's in the soup? So, of course, we have our humble peas here. Yeah. But uh, we're also going to be adding spinach and coconut milk. So good for What's you. What's going to make this really exciting, though, is mm -hmm. that we're going to be kissing this and perfuming it with these warm, delicate spices. Nice. Many of the recipes that I cook on City Line yeah. uh, utilize spices. Today is going to be no exception. But I'm not trying to do, like, curried pea and spinach and coconut milk soup. Right. I'm trying to do just, like... Just like a, just like a warm hug. You know why they're kind of laughing? Thing. Because when you grow up West Indian, every single thing has the West Indian seasonings. Like <laughs> mac and cheese was like jerk mac and cheese. <laughs> why the the hamburger was like a jerk hamburger. Jamaican. Jamaican. Okay, yeah. So for you, what was it? Your Guyanese. Same thing, yeah. Same thing. Uh, any any West Indian flavors? Yeah. Lots of pepper, lots of Scotch bonnet, all lots that stuff. Lots of it. Yeah. But no this question. isn't that. This is just this like is a, not a, that. a delicate, is, just a of cumin. Just a little, yeah. Just yeah. a little kiss. It's not a full out make out session it's with the curry. It's not a make out session. No, no, it's not. It's just a kiss. So we're going to start off making our soup. And okay. again, I'm using frozen peas. They are yes. rock hard frozen. Yeah. We have some onion going in with some salt. Uh, and then nice. I'm going to add in some of that, that ginger and garlic. Again, it's just ginger and garlic. Awesome. Now, we can start, <laughs> we can start getting some of our warm spices in there. And what are you going to use? So just a little bit of cinnamon. I don't know why I was doing that. This makes more sense for me. Like, what am I doing? <laughs> it was cute. That's it. We have some, uh, some cumin seeds as well. OK. We're going to add in some nutmeg. Nice. And I realize as I'm stacking these, you're probably going to move them behind me soon. I am, but, but I'm going to wait waiting. until there's a full stack. OK, cardamom. Yeah. Uh, we have coriander. This is Kashmiri red chili powder. Mm -hmm. You can use Scotch bonnet. You can use Guyanese wary wary. You okay. can use Thai red chili. You can use scorpion. You can use whatever cayenne chili. Use whatever, whatever you want. Heat you like. I just love Kashmiri red chili powder because it's so. You like the flavor of it? Well, it does two things. Mm. It's not as hot as a lot of chili powders, but it's so fragrant. Ah! It's so fragrant you had to. and it's so colorful. It's that good. It's really really fun. So move this all around. And like this is the type of cologne I want to wear. Okay? Yes. This is it. Move this around. Let's come in with our frozen peas. Yeah. Frozen peas go into the party, and a nice big handful of spinach. Tons. This much spinach is going to reduce down to how much? This much. Yeah. So get all the spinach yeah, in there. Yeah. Okay? Put so much spinach all of in it. there, it yeah, all yeah. wilts down to nothing. It's all going to wilt down to nothing. While that's happening, we can talk about these lemon croutons, which are very simple yes. to make. Yes. And I've already made some. So uh, homemade croutons are definitely the move. I like that they're a little bit bigger and you can flavor them however you want. Homemade croutons definitely the move. Yeah. And I'm just going to hit these up with a little bit of our, oh, there we go. A little nice. bit of olive oil that's here. The more oil you put, the more flavorful and crunchy they're going to be. Nice. So off camera, I would add more. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> we're going to add in some salt here and then we're also going to hit this with lemon zest. So lemon is a nice twist on lemon it. Lemon and lemon juice when they're done. Ooh. Yeah, because I want some, like, that crunchy texture just to have a little bit of life to it yeah. when, uh, when it goes on top of oh, the garnish. Oh, that smells good. It already smells good, right? So mm -hmm. this goes boom. We pop this into the oven. Okay. We come back to our soup. Now, because I'm such a nice guy. Okay. Right? Yeah. I want to show everybody at home different stages of this soup. So we see it sauteing here, mm -hmm. but how do we get a chance to see different stages of the cooking process? Before I get there, the spices are cooking out in here. So what I can do is I can just add in some coconut milk now, yes. just because I don't want anything to burn. Okay. So a little bit of coconut milk yeah. and a little bit of, little bit of water okay. is going to go in there as well. <laughs> now, this is going to cook for 10, 15, oh, it's just got so quiet. I know. This is going to cook for, the, for the, the 10, 15, 20 minutes. settled down and so did we. Okay. So once that's done, we're going to blend it. And when you blend it, you're going to get a really nice green color. And now I want to talk about the blending. Let's talk about that blending, shall we? The reason why I want to talk about the blending <laughs> is because maybe if you're at home, you're using a stick blender, you're using a different type of blender. There's yeah. two different schools of thought here. You can make this smooth and silky, mm -hmm. or you can have it more artisanal and more rustic. You know, Big you can chunky. pulse it. Uh, I just like restaurant style, catering style. We have it really nice and pureed. Nice. Like, say, uh, 
It's, it's, I want to speak French. It's, it's, it's génial. It's, it's peu, yeah, un petit yeah. peu, uh, what do you call it? Génial, ça marche. Génial. Yeah, yeah. Oui, so this, ça marche. This goes here. We have this finished product now. It's just so it's luxurious. It's so silky. It's silky. But what else did we say about the silky soups? The kids that don't like the peas, maybe they're going to be into the silky soup because well, yeah. it doesn't look like a vegetable. Okay, it's green. So I was giving But this... it doesn't look like a pea. So I was talking about this story earlier. Basically, I went to my aunt's house. She had a lasagna. There was no vegetables in it. I'm like, why are there no vegetables? She's like, the kids won't eat it. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, blend the vegetables and just yeah. throw it in there. So like, you can put a layer of this in your lasagna and Hide call it, it pesto. Yes. Right? <laughs> yes, you can. Who's going to know? Yeah. So here we have our pea, spinach, and coconut. Full, uh, full recipes on City Line, yes. but it's so simple and easy to make. These are hit with a little bit of lemon juice. Delicious. Can I try one? Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. It's important that I eat all the bread yeah, in the kitchen. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Crunchy. Mmm. Yeah, really simple. Use the I wanted to peas. taste how the lemon worked on that. That is beautiful. Eat peas. Eat peas. You eat your peas, peas children yeah. and adults. Oh, boy. Yeah, I got to talk for a bit now. <laughs> Say something else to them while I chew. I'm just so grateful because I'm coming up on 10 years here at City Line. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> so March, March is going to be 10 years. The yeah. cookbook's coming out this year. It's a, it's a big year, and I appreciate all the support I've had from, from everyone here at City Line. So I love that. It, yeah. It's too bad you're so shy. I was like, <laughs> can you fill in the time? He's like, how much time do I have? Seven minutes? Okay, thank you so much for that. Great recipe and congratulations. We thank love every you. single one of those years we've spent with you. Thank you. Now, forgot to make plans for Valentine's Day? I hope you haven't, but no stress. HelloFresh is here to save the day with their emergency Valentine's Day hotline that launches today. Head to cityline.tv for information on the Valentine's Day hotline. And all of you in our studio audience are going to skip meal planning this week and enjoy five meals for your family with your $200 HelloFresh box.